This is Pastor Eli here at Bridgeway Church in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, this uh, morning, I wanted to share with you an incredible story uh, out of the book of Mark, uh, chapter 7, verse 24 through 30. Um, Jesus has fed 5,000. Jesus has made uh, you know some miracles. He's prayed for people. He's taken care of people. And uh, he's looking for a little private time. He's looking maybe to rest a little bit or just get away from the crowds. And um, listen to what the Bible says. Jesus, it says, Jesus left that place and went to the vicinity of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know it. Yet he could not keep his presence secret. In fact, as soon as she heard about him, a woman whose little daughter was possessed by an evil spirit came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek born uh, in Syrian Phoenicia. Uh, she begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. And listen to what he says. First, let the children eat all they want, he told her, for it is not right to take the food or the children's bread and toss it to their dogs. Jesus, Lord, she replied, but even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he tells her, for such a reply, you may go. The demon has left her daughter. She went home and found her child lying on the bed and the demon was gone. How would you respond? Here's the Messiah. Here's, here's Jesus. Let, let me just put this maybe tired uh, worked hard feeding these people. They're looking for him because he has food. Uh, he has something to drink. Uh, he becomes literally the person that I no longer have to work. I no longer have to work. I no longer have to farm. All I have to do is come to Jesus and he'll give me whatever I want. Well, in this case, folks, let me tell you, this faith is feeding on crumbs. The crumbs that fall off the master's table, the master's children's table. This woman was a woman with a quick mind and a quick wit. She responded to Jesus' statement with a sharp reply. I admire this woman, not only for what she said, but how quickly she took the statement of Jesus and turned it into a profession of faith. Listen to this. Great faith approaches Jesus boldly. You have to Take yourself, take your family, take your needs, and approach Jesus boldly. The reason Jesus and his disciples were in the area of the seacoast of Lebanon was because multitudes of people were chasing him for a miracle. He had just fed 5,000 people. So many of them saw Jesus as a miraculous meal ticket. No more working, no more fishing, no more farming. Just hang around Jesus and he'll feed us. Jesus didn't come just to feed people. He came to redeem the world. So he was trying to escape the crowds and spend some time, some, just some downtime with his disciples in a secret place. But it's impossible to keep Jesus a secret. This Gentile woman heard about him and ignored all the barriers to get to Jesus. First, the Gentile would never speak to a Jew. Second, a strange woman would never address a man who wasn't a family member. She crashed the party, one pastor said it this way. It would be like us crashing a private party and going up to the guest of honor and asking him if he has jumper cables to help us start our car. It was inconvenient and inappropriate, but she was desperate. Notice she approached Jesus with humility. She fell at his feet and begged him. This was an act of worship and surrender. She also approached Jesus with a profession of faith. In Matthew's account, the woman says, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is suffering terribly. Now, this was a Gentile woman, yet, he, yet she understood and believed Jesus was the Jewish Messiah. She called him the son of David which was a term signifying Jesus was the promised Messiah. Her daughter was tormented by a demon. She didn't ask for something for herself. She was interceding for her little girl. There is greater power in intercession. 
If you have a need or someone you love has a need, are you willing to boldly approach God with your request? The writer of Hebrews invites us with this encouragement. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. That's in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Approach him. Let us then approach the throne. Right now, right there where you are, approach the throne. Your faith might be the faith that feeds on crumbs. Let us pray. But Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for every individual, Father, watching our video this morning. We pray that their lives are changed. We pray that their faith will feed on crumbs, the crumbs that fall off the master's table. Lord Father, we might not be Jews, but those Jews ignored, Father, the food that was for them. They didn't see Jesus as the Messiah. They didn't believe that he was. But we believe it, Father. You have adopted us. You have transformed us. And you, Father, have given us that food. And we receive it with all of our hearts. And we pray for every person watching this video that today, Father, their faith can grow by feeding on crumbs. We honor you and praise you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Folks, I'm inviting you to come this weekend. Every Sunday at 1030, we have worship in God's word. You have to know that we will feed our faith with crumbs, God's word. It's bread, bread of life. He is the light. We are no longer in darkness. All you have to do is believe. Join us every Sunday at 1030, every Wednesday at 630, 3202 Rodfield Road in Corpus Christi, Texas. We'll see you next time. This is Pastor Eli praying for you and believing that God is going to do something for you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.